This video has been sponsored by Solder Stick. More on that at the end. Hey, what's happening, guys? I'm sure you remember this from a week or so ago. We did a video on it. This is my Sunlu filament dryer. You put your, you know, one kilogram rolls of, of filament in here, and this aluminum plate heats up and it dries them out and dries off the moisture. Well, apparently in the updated ones, there is a um, a fan in here to move some air around. So I thought we'd add one. I happen to have a couple of these guys here. Sound original DC brushless fan, 12 volt. Unfortunately, the Sunlu filament dryer is a 24 volt device. But it's not really a big problem. A simple buck converter will straighten things out. So I've taken one of the fans and I've attached it to one of these LM2596 DC to DC converters, which I have dialed in at uh, about 12.1 volts for the fan. So the next step is I want to get this plate out of here so I can access the wiring and most importantly that DC jack you see way down there in the bottom but this thing does not want to come out and the reason I suspect that is the wiring I think the wiring is the problem so I'm gonna see if I can figure out a way I can get better access deep down in there and we'll go from there all right it is the wiring that's holding everything in place and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it out without really damaging things so I'm gonna try and work on it like this might be a little bit difficult but I think we can do it so the first thing that I need to do is to get a couple of wires soldered on there so let me get ready for that and uh, I'll come back when we're ready to solder them in so I got the plate kind of tied up out of the way here with some wires hopefully I'll be able to get down in here with these uh, pre-tinned wires and get that on there but I don't know so what I'm gonna try and do first is just get some just get some fresh solder on there see how that does looks like it's holding pretty good I just want to heat this up a little bit Preheat it. Ah. Yeah, so much for my preheating, huh? see anything at all hey caramba I'm starting to think this may not work but I won't give up just yet like if I could get that out of there There'd be nothing to it. Oh, wait a minute. Have I been doing this all wrong? Should I have been doing it horizontally like this? Dear Lord, I think I've been doing it wrong. Now, 
I'm going to get this off of here without moving it. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't think that worked. Okay, we got one. Now, if I can get the other one, this, this may just work after all. Believe me, I'm just as surprised as you are. All right, let's try it for the black wire. I know you can't see down in there. I'm I'm sorry. Honestly, I can't see down in there either, so yeah, don't feel bad. That didn't get it. That's gonna need some more more solder on there. There we go. Now let me try and hook up this black wire again. And we might be getting somewhere. Bend in it to kind of help me on my way. Oh. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Well, then the next step will be to get these soldered onto the uh, buck converter. Okay. So hopefully. We are on to the final final parts of this little project here. Which is soldering our power wires. Man, I don't know if it's a tip or what with the soldering iron. It just doesn't seem to have a lot of thermal mass. Soldering our power wires. And these should be the end of our connections. And we should be ready to go. Oh, I didn't and tin that one. These wires I'm having a really hard time tinning. I just don't seem to want to play, so I'm taking a big ball of solder and heating up the wire that way. See, it's still not really... This is why I hardly ever use this wire. Alright, I'm going to cut just a little tiny piece of that tip off of there. I didn't like the way it was looking. Yeah. Okay. Now we should be ready for our, our last connection. 
clean off the tip of the old soldering iron. A little solder on it for thermal transfer there. I still don't like this wire. It is wire. I don't know what's up with it. It just doesn't, doesn't seem to want to play fair, or play nice, however you want to say it. Come on, get in there. Ah. That is one ugly joint. But what I want to make sure is when I plug this on, then it's going to work. So let's zoom out here. Get the power bank for this guy. Plug it in over here. And as soon as I plug this in, we should have a fan. And we do. Excellent. All right, so now my plan. My evil plan now. Cut that. Let that stress off. Still being somewhat ginger here, as much as my my chubby sausage-like fingers will allow. Come on, get in there. All right, so now I want that back in there. Little something like this. Let me put some screws in and I'll be right back. All right, I guess we're down to the final part of the program today and that is uh, mounting this fan. I think I'm gonna mount it in here like this, uh, just pointing up, assuming there's enough room. Let me get a roller or a uh, an empty filament spool. All right, I got a uh, empty filament spool here, so we can fit that in. And what I want to see, basically, yep, yeah, there'll be plenty of room to mount that fan back here. Perfect. All right, to mount the fan and cut down on vibrations, I have this really strong double-sided tape here. I think we just put a couple of pieces of that This is real thick padded double-sided too, so that'll be Real nice makeup for any, uh, well, you can see the, the moldings and ridges in the, uh, fan case, so that'll take up some of that slack. All right. This is the part I'm never any good at, was separating these. Come on. Ah. Almost. There we go. There's one. One more to go. You can watch me struggle. 
it nor normally I, I shut the camera off for this kind of stuff but I figure what the heck we're all friends here except for you trolls <laughs> come on just stay down will you stay down there we go and I want it to blow up so I'll kind of stick it here like that I know you can't see well there it is and a final test to make sure everything is still working I hear the fan blowing And there you can see we have a, I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh, oh. Why don't I just make more of a mess? But yeah, you can see there, 21 degrees. So everything is working just as I wanted it to. So I've got some new filament to dry. I don't know what you have planned for the rest of the day, but I wish you luck. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to Solder Stick for sponsoring this video. If you don't know what Solder Stick is and you'd like to learn some more, just hang around because I've got a little video introducing you to their products right after this. All right, guys. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Today's video is brought to you by Solder Stick. Solder Stick makes quick, waterproof wire connections that last a long time and protect whatever it is you're working on. They sell different types of connectors, everything from T-tap connectors, which allow you to put a splice into the middle of a wire without having to cut the wire or remove any insulation. waterproof uh, melt butt connector kits spade connector kits which if you work on cars or boats you know how useful they will be and the same goes for ring connectors when you need to connect a wire to something with a nut and a bolt this is simply the way to do it solder stick remember them for all of your wire connection needs there's a link down below for a discount